Wednesday, September 27th, and it's funny, we're about to get hit by this hurricane, and we've never seen the library more crowded. You know, we've been doing all the prep for the house and stuff, and then we pull up to get books because we're dorks, and yes, my beard's gone, and it's hopping. I love it. Love to see the nerds stock up. Josh? Hurricane Ray. He's surveying the perimeter. There you go. what Florian's doing to her again. You got it. on September 28th. We're feeling the outer bands of hurricanes, but priorities. We went to the library yesterday, the bookstore today, and now we're getting peach cobbler. September 28th at 5.23 p.m. I'm on the East Coast. I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. We are under a tropical storm warning. We are okay. I am literally far in Northeast Florida, about an hour and a half up uh, north of Daytona, 45 minutes from the Georgia border. Uh, the hurricane is gonna hit us, but it should be like a tropical storm, not too bad. But uh, Ian took us by surprise. Up here in North Florida, we weren't even worried. And then suddenly this morning I woke up and it was a category four, he got so much bigger. And, um, and he's whooping South Florida right now. So, um, you know, really thinking about people in Southwest Florida. So if I was in Tampa, I'd be worried. But Floridians, we went to the library. I went to the dispensary. Uh, got some peach cobbler, went to the bookstore. Uh, so got our priorities straight. And uh, we're just hunkered down here. We're totally fine. As long as we don't lose power, we'll be fine. So I've just been watching Hurricane coverage, joining in that hysteria. And... Um, yeah, so please don't worry, we're okay. But either way, I am six weeks post-op today. It's probably about this time that I was waking up and seeing my penis for the first time. My, how far we've come. So, uh, my glands, last I mentioned, had that little scare. I definitely did lose a piece of that tissue. Uh, but the good news is it's not much. And the huge other really thick scab along the ridge came off last night. And um, a lot of the scabs are coming out, actually. Um, and the glansplasty healing is um, getting less weepy, so it's not just kind of dripping that weird fluid and a little bit of blood. But um, honestly, that was the most kind of just grossest part of the surgery. You know, in part of the packet, they say, like, what's that smell? Like, it's about wound healing. And I really didn't smell the whole time until I got the glands, and the glands just kind of seeping and the graft taking. But just in the past two, three days, I've noticed it's just really settled down. And when the scabs came off last night after my shower, like, it just looks so good. It's returning back to its color. Uh, but yeah, I did lose that tissue, but it's it's not too much, and I know it can be fixed. Um, I'm just glad it's not the urethra or something. So, it is what it is. I'm just trying to accept it. Um, been trying to rest, sleep, take things easy. It's hard once you're back at home and have to deal with the stresses of life and, like, you know, natural disasters and things and everyone else's energy. But I'm doing my best to maintain my zen peacefulness, just feeling so much at home in myself, my body, feeling happier with myself, um, just more settled. It's it's beautiful. Uh, my wound healing is still healing, but I'm not able to pee standing up yet. I mean, I can, but it leaks still. So I, I sit down unless I'm in the shower. And the other night um, I was testing it because it really is so small now that it actually looks like I might be able to, like it's closed, but it's not yet. But um, at least I know it's getting there, right? So um, I, I was standing in the shower and I was holding my penis to pee and I felt the pee go through it. 
And, you know, the urethra is on the bottom of a fallow dick, just like a cystic, and my, like, the meatus, the opening, the slit, really has turned out so well. And, um, you know, they kept saying, oh, you have a beautiful urethra, what the hell does that mean? But, um, it really just, the way it looks and just the way it shoots pee is great. So, the opening is still there, still have to sit. Um, I'm not in, out in public too much these days, so it's not too hard to navigate, like, but I don't give a fuck, I'll just sit in public, I don't give one fuck. It's just more like, I don't want the glands, which is healing, to touch the toilet seat, you know? And so that's, it's funny suddenly having junk there being like, well, I don't want you to touch the seat, no, no, no. yeah. So, yeah, just wanted to touch base, things are going well, still trying to rest, but just, you know, it, it can be hard. So I'm just trying to be gentle with myself with everything. So we're okay, the hurricane's not gonna put us out here too much in Jacksonville. But, uh, yeah, hit six weeks today. I cannot believe six weeks has gone by. Sometimes I look down at my arm, my leg, and I'm like, wow, I have fallow. It is still unbelievable to me. So, yeah, it, you know, I look back, I'm like, it's already basically October. Like, this weekend is October 1st. And so it ate, like, two months of my life, really three, because the whole cancellation in July. I'm not complaining, but it just suddenly was like, boom, three months gone by. It's just like, and it was so fast, and I was so in the moment, thankfully, that coming back here and having time to just sit and write and just reflect, I'm like, whoa, that was a lot. Like, I had two surgeries and just extensive wounds to my body and just, you know, I don't know. It was a lot. So, yeah, doing pretty good. Hope you guys are too. Peace.